Hello and welcome back to John's Fiddle Lessons at BluegrassDaddy.com and um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about my fiddles and I'm going to tell you something about them and what kind of strings are on them and what kind of bow I use and so <clears throat> first of all this is one that you may have seen before <clears throat> this is my eBay fiddle, it's a Chinese uh, CMT violin made in China got it at a very cheap price and it's obviously an inexpensive beginner model the strings that are on there are super sensitive red label strings and why su super sensitive red label? well this is a very inexpensive instrument and it wouldn't you know I don't, I don't want to spend a lot of money on the strings that go on it super sensitive strings are still strings and the E is unwound, just a steel wire, so it's kind of whistly sometimes. It's bad to make a whistle, but they're indestructible, and they're and they're cheap, and they and it really gets has a good fiddle sound to it. So a lot of fiddlers like the super sensitive, and so let me give you sort of an example of what it sounds like. So that's my cheap little eBay fiddle here that I've had a lot of fun with. And next of all, I've got one that you probably haven't seen. This is a violin made in 2009 by um, Bob Kogut, a friend of mine who lives down the hill here. And uh, he makes violins and plays a beautiful violin. And this is a five string violin. It has a viola C. Now the strings that I have on this one, you can see it has the five pegs here. The strings that I have on this one are um, domestic, tom domestic dominants. And dominants are really just the industry standard for synthetic core strings. These are uh, purlon strings that have a uh, metal winding on top of them. The G has some kind of flat silver winding. And, uh, and then of course it has the viola C down here as well, which is also a Tomastic Dominant. And so uh, let me show you what that sounds like. The bow I'm using is a Glasser uh, carbon fiber bow. Hear the viola C? And the reason that I like to use the uh, Tomastic Dominance on this violin is that they're a very warm sounding string and this, this violin has sort of a, a higher tone to it and the Dominance sort of soften it a bit. So the um, <clears throat> very beautiful sounding string and it's not, they're not that expensive. And then here's the fiddle that you see a lot when I do my lessons because I have the um, the uh, don't fret sticker on it so you can see where I put my hands. This is sort of my all-purpose fiddle. This is a uh, fiddle that was made in France. It's the only thing I can see there is Etsy and it was made in the um, um, early 1900s. And so uh, on the back here, all, all of my fiddles, I, I use a uh, chin rest or a shoulder rest. I like the Kuhn, K-U-N brand. Now, um, these strings that I have on here are helicor strings. And the reason is this fiddle has sort of a darkish tone, and the helicor really brightens it up and brings out some bright tones. This is, uh, these have more of a clear and focused sort of a sound. They're not um, uh, purlon or nylon composite core like these Tomastic Dominants. They're actually a, uh, th their core is a steel rope, and so it's going to be a brighter tone to these strings and so when I, when I play it that's what it sounds like so let's kind of reprise the uh, the fiddle here again this is a darker fiddle that I wanted to brighten up with some uh, helicor steel rope core strings This is a uh, more of a 
thin sound that I wanted to fatten and warm up, so I used some Tomastic Dominance. And then last of all, I've got my really inexpensive Chinese fiddle that I've got my um, really cheap, bright, super sensitive red label strings on. And so they're all fun to play and they're all different and that's why they have different strings. Just like children, they each have their own unique uh, needs and so we try to we try to meet those given them the, given them those the strings they need and so um there it is those are my fiddles and the strings and the attachments that I have on them.